Welcome everybody to a Saturday night's main event. One week on, f two weeks on from the near career threatening injury to Andre the Giant. Um, and one week on from what I think might be the fall of the Canadian Wolfhound, Wolfpack. Well, here we are. And, we, and tonight we get to see we get to see the Heart Princess. She didn't make it last week to the show um, due to her flight being cancelled, but she's here tonight and she's going to be going into a triple threat match with her childhood best friend Angel and another contender for the women's championship share. So let's see what the other matches happened though. Ultimate Warrior and Yokozuna went went at it. Eric Rowan and Luke Harper took on the Shield again. The Shield picking up another victory. David Otunga on a one night contract went up against Brock Lesnar and was destroyed. And CM Punk and Bret Hart continue their long lasting rivalry. Bret Hart losing to Punk again. We've had, we've had an. With complete disrespect, Bret Hart continued attacking CM Punk after their match. And, of course, tonight our big match is going to be Angel Christine Cher going at it. The winner, most likely going to be the... Uh, quite possibly likely to be the number one contender for Jennifer's Championship. So, uh, yeah. Uh, this match is, is, of, uh, is very, very important here. So yeah, who's going to win this one? Will we see the dead girl win and go into a have another shot for the title? Will we see the heart princess uh, pick up the victory and get her ta get her get herself a title shot? First one she's had since Angel was champ. Or will we see a first title shot for um, for Cher? Well, it's all stuff that we've got to think about, and this is a and this is one of those matches. But here comes the heart princess. She finally made it to the arena. I mean, last week we, that last week really couldn't couldn't be helped. Um, her flight was cancelled and redirected into Russia. Uh, yeah, not good. Um, <laughs> but she finally got here to the show this week. And here comes the dead girl. Uh, we'll skip her entrance because it takes about an hour. And of course, we've got Cher coming to the ring. Who's going to win this match? Will it be the daughter of the Bulldog, the daughter of the, the Undertaker, or the daughter of CM Punk? That's what we need to know. So let's see what happens here because this is uh, this is for this is for number one contendership. We know this match will be the number one contender for the women's title. Let's get into the match. The Heart Princess going straight, going straight after, going straight after the Punkling. The dead girl, the de the dead girl is now the target of the Punkling. What's the What's the Heart Princess doing? She's helping fight the dead girl. I suppose, um, as this is uh, this this matches every uh, every woman for herself. She's got to do what she's got to do. She logs in the abdominal stretch on her on Angel there, but Angel Angel gets free of that. Double team from the other two women. This match literally the women go into it knowing that they are going to have to fight their friends, but this is how it is because they they all want a shot at Jennifer here, and in order to get that shot at Jennifer, they've got to do what they have to do to get into the contendership. Throws her into the into the ropes. Big boot, but falls over the top and down to the floor. Big spinning axe punch there to, to the dead girl. The dead girl, a former a former women's champion. Both of these other two women, all of these women would like would like a shot. Angel would like another championship um, reign, but I don't think Christie's ever held it, and I think she'd quite like to. So um, yeah, this is these are the things that happen here in our in our company. We've got we've got one of the best female wrestling divisions anybody's ever seen. Big diving at, diving body splash, but misses on the way to the floor.
Big clothesline to the dead girl on the outside. Big DDT on the princess. Kicked into the lower back. Thrown to the floor. Angel taken out with a clothesline. And lay and she lays down lays out on the mat. Oh, rolls her onto her back. That was quite that looked really painful. The Heart Princess sliding back inside the ring here, knowing that she needs she, she knowing what she, knowing what she needs to do in order to win, she has to start taking out the body parts. But she's laid down. Dead girl with a big drop kick breaking up the pin. None of these women want want to see another one win it. Win it. Picks her up. Locks in the abdominal stretch. She stretches the body of the dead girl there. She's laid out on the on, on, on her back on the inside of the ring again. The Heart Princess is going at both of the women. She doesn't matter who she has to fight. She will fight in order to get a victory. The dead girl's going, af going after the punkling. And they are both fighting at it. While, while the, the Heart Princess seems content to let the fans know um, how, mu how much she appreciates them. But this match is um this match is going to be is um well it's, it's a testament to show you how good the women in our division are. And these neither of these three is the champion either. And we're seeing incredibly talented women going at it in great wrestling matches whilst looking good doing so as well. Places her hands onto her knees. Goes up to the top. She's on the top rope. Big drop kick to the back of the punkling. She's got the dead girl up. The dead girl's back up. She's got a big anvil flatten of clothesline. She goes over to the feet of the dead girl. But the dead girl's back up. Slamming down the princess's arm into the floor. She's, she's posing herself up ready for a, a choke slam, but instead decides to go for a dead man leg drop. Big reversal reverses the attempt at the sharpshooter. Having known the girl as long as she has, she must have known that was coming. Big pin on the punkling one, two no, only a two. Down goes the dead girl to the mat. The heart princess preparing for a comeback. Picks her best friend up. But but the two other women defend her and then put her down. The dead girl doesn't want that to happen either. But a big anvil flattener knocks out Cher. The dead girl with a big DDT. She's calling the, the heart princess to her feet, ready for a tombstone. And she's got it. She's got it. She clocks her tombstones, Christy, down onto the mat head first. Rope break though and the move is broken. The tombstone did some serious damage to Christie's head and back. She reverses and kicks Angel in the head there. This match is get this match is going going way beyond anything I thought we'd see today. 
These women are all going for each other. They're absolutely throwing everything at each other. Friends or not, they just want to win. These women are just defending each other. Move after move after move. Spins around. She's dragging her to the corner. The dead girl's dragging her best friend to the corner. We know what's coming here. Because the dead girl's about to go old school. All of the women all of these women are preparing for finishes here. The tombstone is, is blocked by the by the by uh, by Cher there. Big drop kick there from the dead girl. She goes to the top. She's going old school. Oh, that brutal slap. Put Christy on the mat. Shares laid out. Christy takes a drop kick across her neck. Trips her over as she goes for a clothesline. And she returns to Cher, who is still unconscious. Christy doesn't seem able to get up. Angel seems confused by a woman lying on her front. Christy, however, locks straight in. The sharp... Sh the, the, Oh, that's a figure four. It's a backward sharpshooter, I think, isn't it? I'm not sure what that was. But it wasn't the sharpshooter I know, anyway. But that. That looked awesome. Christy spins in, throws the elbow into Angel's head. Christy's lifted up and dropped with a go to sleep. But Angel breaks that up. Irish whipping Cher into the corner. The, these two women are now going at it in the corner. Cher's going for the pin on Christy though. But Angel with a big boot. Boot and a th that and that high kick. But Christy goes for the pin. One. No. Christy knocked to the floor. Slides back into the ring. Angel and Cher going outside the ring. Christy throws herself over the top and hits Cher in the head. But Cher, Cher, Cher being a slightly bigger is unable, is, is unaffected by that attack. Cher's got the steps but an Angel's fighting her for them. I better check my rule book. This match isn't no disqualification, is it? This match is a no disqualification match. Christy reaches under the ring now that weapons have become involved and grabs the chair. Steel chair to the back of Angel. The punkling grabs the chair. Cher grabs the chair. Christy picks her up. Takes her down with a spinning neck breaker. Goes for a pin on her quickly. One. Only a one though. Irish whip into the corner. Big drop kick. Slides out from underneath her. And slips outside the ring. Grabs a chair from ringside. And brings it into the ring. Steel chair to the side of Angel. Angel taking several kicks in the face. Cher grabs the chair off Christy. And Christy takes the chair to the back for her trouble. Angel with a drop kick breaks the pin.
Dropping down to the outside, another chair is introduced from under the ring. Christy throws the chair and kicks it into her face. Angel off the top, bounces, body splash. Big chair shot to the head. Throws Angel the chair and kicks it into her face. Irish whip into the corner. Up and no. Rolling DDT. Christy goes down. Spinning head scissors. Both of the dead girls' opponents are out of it now. Top rope drop kick. One, two, no. Breaks the pin. The chair breaks the pin. Chair shot to the side of the body there. Spinning. Axe anvil flattener. Picking the dead girl up and dropping her on her neck. She climbs over to, the, to her legs. She locks in that, that, that same reverse version of the sharpshooter. And pulls away at the legs. Pulling away at the dead girl's legs. But that's not enough to end this match. All three of these women are giving everything they can in this match. She's locked in the dead girl. Steel chair shot breaks the submission hold. Both women uh, go for high, high, high risk moves. Heart Princess puts a chair underneath her head. Drops the dead girl with a bulldog and climbs back outside the ring. She grabs a chair from ringside and is heading back into the ring. The dead girl and the and the punkling are going at it. Because Angel goes old school and goes for a pin. Chair shot breaks the pin. Big chair shot to the front of her head. She wraps the chair around her around the punkling's neck. And slams her foot on the chair. That normally breaks people's necks. She's roll she roll she knocks the dead girl down and goes for a pin. One to only a one count after she nearly broke her neck. That's moderately unbelievable. Dead girl with a drop kick, but can't break it up. Oh my god, Cher just won! Cher just pinned Christy. Angel didn't break the pin in time. Cher's going, going up, going to go up against Jennifer. Christy's pinned by Cher. Again, another match that both the Heart Princess and the Dead Girl have been in. And it ends up in the match ending with neither of them picking up the victory. Jennifer won the title last time. And now Cher is going to go up against Jennifer. Well, this has been Saturday night's main event, an incredible hardcore women's match. We'll see you next time for more Saturday night's main event, and it'll be the go-home show to the pay-per-view. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Cher is the number one contender for the women's championship. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.